All right, so today we are going to talk a little bit about quick set smart locks and what to do if you lost a key for the smart lock. Normally, you would rekey the lock by sticking your old or your current key in, turning it, pushing the button in here with your smart key uh, reset tool, and you would take the old key out, put the new key in, and rekey, and you'd be done. Uh, you can watch another video of how I do that, but for this one, I'm going to show you what to do in the event that you've lost the key to rekey this lock. Well, there's a thing called a smart key cradle, and um, you could probably buy these online. I haven't really researched it myself, but I know I have one. Um, this is really made by Quickset. It's really a good way to rekey it if you do not have the key for this lock. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. Um, in the box you have obviously a smart key reset tool here and you'll need one of these to rekey the lock. I know this is a smart lock because it has a little hole right near the keyway that allows you to rekey the lock. So I got my cylinder here that I want to rekey. And inside the box you'll find this red item which is called a cradle. Also, you'll have some directions on how to rekey it. I personally uh, think these directions are a little confusing, so I don't really follow them, but I'll show you on this video how to do it. And the reason I'm making the video is because I don't really like directions personally. I like to actually see somebody do it, and I can usually follow how they've done it after that. So, it's going to be hard to see on this video. Uh, this is very easy to do. I also have a new key that I want to put this lock on. Now this key does not currently work this lock, as you can tell. That's okay, I'm going to make this lock work on this key. It's a pretty simple process. So, first thing I want to do is take a pair of pliers. Needle nose will work. And there's a big black clip on the back of this one. Um, normally, when you rekey a lock, you'll take off the little C clip in the back of the uh, back of the plug here. When it comes to quick set smart locks, you never want to take that clip off. If you take the clip off, what's going to happen is all the internal springs and gears and ball bearings and whatever's in there, all that stuff is going to fall out, and you're never going to get it back together. There's just a ton of pieces. Um, so we're going to make this easy by just taking off the big clip in the back. Now. Um, this does not have normal pins like a, your traditional tumbler lock would have, so we obviously cannot take that off because it doesn't have the same internal workings. So what we're going to do is, let's take this clip off. Like I said, we're going to use our needle nose here, kind of pry this clip off, and you can see what the clip looks like. A little different than the normal C-clip. We're going to set that aside. Once you take that clip off, the plug is going to slide out of this lock. And this is what we want, and this is what we're going to rekey. We're going to put the little uh, the uh, cover cylinder thing aside, and we're just going to focus on this. Now, to rekey this, it's very simple. I'm going to try to orient this right for you guys. Down in the middle circle here, you see it looks like an image of a lock. It's got the little hole near the, near the keyway there. And on the exterior ring here, you see an arrow. The first step is to get that arrow faced toward the image of the lock here, the image of the cylinder. So what I want to do, even though I don't have a key to this, it's okay. I'm going to take this cylinder how, how it is, and I'm going to hold it right side up for you guys. I'm just going to slide it into the red reset cradle. So what I want to do now is I want to align that arrow with a little line that's right here on the interior part of this uh, the interior ring here. There's a little line here. There's also an arrow that starts at the picture of the cylinder there and it kind of shows you that it wants you to go around to this line right here. So I'm going to make this arrow line up with that line. So I'm going to spin this exterior portion, and now my arrow is lined up with that line. 
next step, I'm going to turn this a little bit so the cylinder is right set up. The next step is to take your quick set smart key resetting tool and we're going to push it into this hole right here on the side of the cylinder right by the keyway and you can hear it pop. You don't really want to take the whole, uh, the whole cylinder out, sorry about that. But we're going to take this tool out. Next step is to take the new key that you want this lock to be rekeyed to, you stick it in the lock there. Once it's in the lock, all you have to do is pull this whole thing out, and now this lock ideally should be rekeyed to this new key. So I'll try it, and since the key does turn in the plug, it looks like it is rekeyed to this lock, this new key now. So I'm going to kind of play with this and try to get the key out. There we go. Next thing I'm going to do is basically reinstall this plug into the casing here. So I'm going to take this casing right side up, take the plug right side up, and just slide it in. Now I'm going to take this black clip that was on the back, put it back where it was. Sometimes you have to take your tool here and just pop it back into place. That'll prevent this plug from coming back out of the casing here. Now that I have it rekeyed, let's try our new quick set key here and see if it will work. And it looks like it works just fine. So now, using this quick set cradle, this red cradle, I've rekeyed this smart lock to work with whatever key I want, really. So, again, you have your lock here, you have your smart key tool, you have your quick set cradle, and you have a pair of pliers, and that should allow you to rekey this lock.